Okay, yeah, yeah, the chapel's a little bit of a mess because, like I say, I also put carpet on the walls to uh, increase the uh, insulation since this place don't have any. Um, this is actually on. I should have actually got the stuff laid out beforehand, but okay. First up is flute pine. Um, this is actually one of the better pine incenses around. It's more of a muted pine scent, um, but I like it because it actually is the scent pine, though not as uh, powerful as some other incenses on the market. Next up is the myrrh. This is the only one on the market that actually smells like myrrh. It's got that sickly, sweet, bitter smell, which is classic myrrh. Um, and like I said, well, this brand is actually pretty good with stuff. Because they normally make their scents smell good. But yeah, this is the only one that I've found on the market so far that actually smells like myrrh. Actual myrrh, as if you were to burn the resin. Uh, so I'm probably actually going to order more of this when I get the cash. Um... Next up, I tried to order the White Sage, uh, but they actually just ran out of it. Uh, so I got the regular Sage. Um, it's real Sage. Now, of course, these are, well, of course it would be the one that's unopened. Uh, now the, uh, I'm trying to find the open one here. These are... Most of the uh, flute brand is your basic charcoal stuff, but they actually do use better essential oils than others. So, the sage actually smells like sage, and you actually get more of a uh, bulk thing going on here. So, I actually like this. I might keep some of this around. I don't know. Like I said, I'm past the point of... Uh, keeping a ton of incense on hand of flavors I really don't use. Uh, so next up is the rose. Now this smells like classic rose, uh, but it's, um, it's muted as in it don't make your allergies go crazy. I actually like this scent. Because a lot of the rose incense uh, will actually knock my allergies up something fierce. Next up is honey. I actually didn't order this one. Um, one of the others that I ordered, uh, they ran out, so they threw the honey in there to make up. This actually smells like honey. I was shocked at this because I've tried a lot of incenses that said honey scented before. This actually works. I actually like the smell, and I get the craving honey, though. But... Uh... Next up is the one that really knocks me out, is the uh, Musk Sandalwood. This is incredibly good. I love the scent. Uh, I've had the um, old Dollar Tree Musk Sandalwood. It sucked completely. This actually blows the, everything else out of the water, because it's actually sandalwood with a little hint of musk and I love this scent I'm actually going to order more of this um, next up is the dragon's blood um, this one is mixed it's not bad it's actually a very good dragon's blood but it smells the same as Grenish's dragon's blood which is not real dragon's blood it's more of a citrus kind of blend that tries to approximate what dragon's blood smells like that being said it's actually a good scent it's just not really authentic dragon's blood though dragon's blood is actually endangered so i can understand them trying to chemically make a scent that smells like it so they get a pass on that but yeah i'm probably actually going to order more of this it's just that it's a simulation of what dragon's blood should smell like and not the real essential oil. 
And that about covers it. Like I said, all the fruit brand or flute brand that I've tried, I've never really been disappointed with, and I highly recommend them. That being said, the only problem with this brand is it's hard to find. The only way I can get it is through a wholesaler where you got to buy twenty five dollars at a time, um, and that's the only way I can get it uh, because normally, from the wholesaler, these are like two fifty each, and that. It's 120 sticks in all. Uh, if you go through a uh, distributor or whatever other than that, they'll often charge you $2 uh, a little 20-pack. So the wholesaler is the only way that I could uh, actually get my hands on it. But yeah, I've never been really disappointed with this brand. And um, they're actually a green plant over in India. And they don't raid... Um, anything to get their uh, scents so I highly recommend them if you can find them and like I've said before I've actually harped for the longest time on their frankincense it's the only incense on the market that I've tried so far uh, oil based that has not you know it actually smells like frankincense uh, so thanks everyone